From Studio E at Einstein Healthcare Network in Philadelphia, this is Health and Wellness. Hi, I'm Kiernie Warren, and this is my co-host, Dr. David Jaspin, Chairman of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Einstein Healthcare Network, and this is the Women's Health Show. On today's episode, we're discussing what it's like to be a mom for the first time and to go through a first pregnancy. Talk to us about that initial visit to the obstetrician for the first time mother. Sure, so it's really important that people understand that they can start prenatal care really, really early. The sooner the better for us. There's so many tests and so many questions that we need to take care of. The more time we have to answer those questions throughout the pregnancy, the better for the parents and the better for the doctors. It's important to understand that we won't hear the baby's heartbeat on the first visit in almost all cases because we can hear the heartbeat until about 14 weeks, until about three, almost four months of pregnancy have been completed. So many patients come in and say, can I hear the heartbeat? And then they're disappointed when we can't do it. It doesn't mean the heartbeat isn't there. It just means that the machines that we have in the office, we can't hear the heartbeat. But the things that we do on that first visit, taking some blood work, doing a complete history, a complete physical exam, are paramount to the health of that pregnancy. During that initial visit, what do you want moms to know? We want them to know that it's, pregnancy is not an illness. Pregnancy is a time in your life where we want you to be as healthy as you possibly can be. For the next 40 weeks, nine months if you will, we want patients to put anything in their body to be as healthy as they can be. We talk about diet, we talk about shoulds, should nots, can they work out, can they continue to do their job? And the answer in almost all cases, if there's no medical problems, is yes to all of those things. Why is prenatal care important today? And how can a woman assure that she, herself that she's receiving the best care? So prenatal care is a great opportunity to understand what goes on with the pregnancy and as your body changes to provide some education for the mother and the family about why those changes are occurring. Things that we look for are high blood pressure, we look for abnormal sugar, so diabetes, and multiple other things that may come up based on the history that we did in the initial examination. I know that the doctor and the patients both wish for a uh, healthy pregnancy th throughout the entire time, but can you discuss some risk factors that may come along when a person uh, is, is pregnant for the first time? Sure. So first time moms always think, all moms always think, I want a perfect baby and I want a perfect pregnancy. And that's our goal overall. And our job is to understand what are the risks that that particular family or that particular patient may have and to help the patient understand what they may be. First times moms in particular are at increased risk for high blood pressure during the pregnancy, diabetes during the pregnancy, and depending on other health issues, multiple other things that are much too vast for this discussion. But it's the relationship that the woman has with her obstetrician, with the entire healthcare team caring for her, that will ensure that we're doing the best of our ability to provide the highest level of care, the safest care, with the best quality. Speaking about the, the team, the care team, uh, how does the doctors how do they work with the patients to um, solve some of those risk factors? So there's a appropriate test, which may be ultrasounds, it may be listening to the baby's heartbeat on a monitor. Important for people to understand is that if your girlfriend, sister, mother had 17 ultrasounds and you're only having two, it's not the 17 ultrasounds weren't because the doctor was really nice and let you have 17 ultrasounds. It was because we were concerned about the growth of the baby or the mother. Two ultrasounds is essentially what we generally would want, one early in the pregnancy and one around the fifth to sixth month of pregnancy to understand what the baby's anatomy is. Everything's okay. And yes, at that time we can also determine the sex of the baby. What advice can you give to mothers uh, to make sure that their first pregnancy goes as easy as planned? So all women have different pregnancies, even women who have multiple pregnancies say one was easier than the other. The best thing to do is to educate yourself. It's the nervousness and the anxiety and the fear of the unknown that I find makes patients and families the most scared. And then it gives them this feeling of uncertainty. 
So the more education that they can provide to themselves by reading, to going to seminars, to going to birthing classes, to be asking questions of their gynecologist or obstetrician, the nurses, anyone on the team about whatever it might be, no question should go unasked. Thank you, Dr. Jaspin. Be sure to watch more episodes on this topic and other issues of interest for mothers and daughters on the Women's Health Show. We'll see you next time.